Welcome to Arconia Fest 2024. Day three. Day three, baby. Day three, baby. Yeah. yeah. All right. How's everybody doing? Whew. Uh, a little tired. A little tired. Uh, la- last night was uh, was a yesterday was a tough day because the the day before I had went to bed like around like no I had went to bed early on Monday night but I woke up like around three mm. thinking about the fest thinking about all the stuff I had to get ready for. Yeah, and so yesterday I was struggling a little bit towards the end, but I I actually slept last night, so that was good. Good, good. Yeah. Happy to hear it. Right now we're just making pulp characters. Yes, I'm almost done with mine. Yeah, I just need to buy gear. Yeah, I'm buying gear too. I'm think I'm gonna. I'm thinking. I'm, since you're my psychic, I'm thinking of buying gear and letting you hold it for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, dude, we gotta get a gas mask. That's gonna come in handy. Mia says she slept wellish last night. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have a flashlight. Man, why is a gas mask so expensive? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think I wanted one last time and never did it. No, this is going to be the time. Oh, this you're going to get it. I'm going to get it. You should give it to me so I can, when you get gassed, I can save you. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to buy one for yourself? Uh, I don't know. I haven't even rolled my, my money yet. Let's see. We're supposed to be doing RPG war stories, but we're behind on character building. So we're building... 5d6 uh, yeah. times... What is it? 5d6 times, times 10. 10? Okay, I'll just do that real quick. 5d6... Okay, I got 210. I got more chat. money than you. Chat uh, me up about anything outrageous. Yes. Uh, yeah, we can, we'll be in the chat if you want to join. Yeah, the, um, the Discord chat is open. Anyone who is allowed to be on our stream... If you've been on it in the past, basically, you can jump in that on-stream chat channel uh, in the Arconia Fest <sighs> category on our Discord server. So if you do that, we'll hear you here. I hope. Should work. You know what? I'm going to fill out my stats first. All right. Uh, what's what's, what's th- Oh, hold on. Yeah, because I I, I I wrote my stats, but I didn't pick which ones I want yet. Oh, I see. Yeah, so dexterity, strength, constitution. Yeah, I just need to do equipment. So 5d6 times $10. That's what I got, $210. Uh, where can I put money on here? I feel like his charisma should be high. How old are you? Yeah, I want to say he's young, but not too young. Maybe 26? 26? 26. All right, I'm going to be 30. You're going to be your older psychic? I want to be your older I'm your butler. I'm not like, oh, okay. I'm not like a teen psychic. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm okay. your butler. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is, like, I've got you convinced that I'm like a career butler, but I'm a- I was actually an unemployed day laborer when you found me. Gotcha. Okay. But you found me in England, so you just believe I'm a butler. <laughs> okay. I mean, my strength should be my lowest stat. Yeah, I don't think my strength will... Alright, what kind of weapons does a butler have? Uh, Mia, I want to get a club, but I want to flavor it as, like, a blackjack that I just keep in my... in my jacket. Experiences... So, you know what? He's gonna have 10 strength. Uh, uh, aiming weapons. Oh, yeah, and by the Black, way, for, for a blackjack meaning like an extendable club when it collapses. No, like one of those, like basically just little bags of, of metal beans that you hit someone on the head with in movies. Gangsters have them a lot in old gangster movies. Oh, yeah, like something you could throw hard at somebody or, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Bust, bust them up. <laughs> I think I've never actually held one in real life, but I think they're kind of like bean bags that are just really heavy. Yeah, maybe like something. Yeah, exactly. Something with steel shot in it, like a heavy canvas, uh, about the size of a fist that you can chuck. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Same page. That sounds good. Sure. <laughs> Instead of being like a, a melee weapon, we'll just you know when you use it, just use the the uh, ranged attack. Oh, I never thought of throwing one. I guess I could do that. Yeah. Um, or again, yeah, you can hold it in like the corner of the bag yeah, and slug somebody with. Absolutely, I, I could use it either way. Not yeah. Let that. me see if I can find a picture. I think it's called a blackjack. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find a picture of one. So. And as a quick reminder, uh, as we get closer, the um, on your character sheet you have your attack bonus based on your level. Um, when you do a melee attack, that'll be a plus one. Say if you got a plus one attack bonus. And if you have a strength bonus, then that gets added to the attack bonus, and then there would be d20 roll. In my case, at least for yeah. now, both of those bonuses are zero. So yeah, the, yeah, a blackjack is like this. This is kind of what I was picturing. It's basically just like a beanbag. I think That's I see it. this in like gangster movies all the time. Like some guy, it's this little thing, but it's heavy, and you hit people on the back of the head with it. Yeah, just a, like a small cudgel or like a the uh, the pin, like a, a a rope pin. I don't know what they call it on a ship, but like the rope pins that pirates would like beat people with. Oh yeah, that's called a belaying pin. Okay, something like that. But yeah, a small melee weapon, sure. Or again, if you want to throw it, then yeah, we just apply a apply the dex bonus to your attack. Yeah, that would be dex. Now, the only attributes that I got a bonus, uh, a modifier in, uh, were con, intelligence, and charisma, which are all plus one. Everything else is zero. Okay, so those will bump up. Like, yeah. I, was, I got plus one in uh, dexterity, intelligence, and charisma. Actually, why don't I just, uh, even though I'm still doing gear, I'll just send you a picture of the sheet right now. But that's fine, yeah, I... I trust you all on these. They're such easy sheets to put together. Uh, well, there's this light. Don't necessarily need to see them, um, but I, yeah, it'd be nice to have them. I can. Um, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, Mia. Uh, a, there's a plane going by here. What did you say? Oh, I'm just saying it's not necessary to see them, but it'd be nice to have them. So, yeah, if you guys can send them my way. I know we still got. Uh, an hour? When do we start? Yeah, a little bit of time here. Let's see, we're supposed to start at noon your time, so two o'clock, so you'll get about 40, 50 minutes. So, yeah. Yeah, if anybody wants to, if everybody's ready and anybody wants to start early, there's no problem with that either. Um, yeah, and, or I mean, we even have a little bit of flexibility if we want to start late, because the next event after that, it, Mia, is just you and me tap talking. Okay, yeah, that's cool too, yeah. Um, Sorry, HP. I'm good either way. Uh, like I said, I'm just, I'm still polishing this stuff up. Um, okay. I'm debating whether or not to extend it or, like, I uh, apologize, end it on a semi success cliffhanger, you know. <laughs> oh, that's the hit die. Yeah, your hit yeah, die is based on your D6. class. A cliffhanger, so we gotta come back and do more? I love it. Uh, possibly, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you know, I oh, love this man. game. How much? Well, how much H HP do you have? I have five because my you, you rolled a five. No, I rolled. Uh, no, you don't roll at level one. You take the max. Yeah, you get. Oh, yeah, you get max at so level one. So yours is going to be eight. six plus your con, which is zero. which is zero. So your my my hit die was a d four, but I do have a plus one to con, so that's why I got five hit points. Um, anyway, I need to get back to buying gears. I just spent one dollar on my blackjack, which basically you, you carry on. I'm going to mute myself because again, I'm still working here myself. So. Sure, no problem. <laughs> again, we are set in 1935 once again, Steve. Uh, but the spring versus the fall, like the last series of games. Okay. This one taking place in like uh, Miami, Florida, South Beach. Here's what I can't figure out on the character sheet. Uh, it says number up here. Nationality and number. I guess I'm supposed to put, like, my character's social security number or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think because it's supposed to be just for your passport's sake, you know, that way, like, oh, you're a 
Yeah, I didn't even realize you know, these... America. Yeah, you go to like Germany or something. You American, you know, and then they like take your number. Yeah, not not important. <laughs> yeah, I never used it last time either. Last time when I played Apollo Johnson, the circus strongman. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna save some of that conversation for later because there were some moments with Apollo that really made me laugh. Um, <laughs> That whole series of games, there was a lot of little moments that were like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun game. Oh, here it is. All oh, sideways. Let me open that up. All right, I'm going to bite. I think I'm going to have a bullet. I'm going to get a, a leather jacket and a bulletproof vest. Can I, can I wear two types of armor at the same time? Because there's leather jacket and there's bulletproof vest. Oh, it's not my call, but I can. Uh, I, it seems to me like you can wear both those things at once. Yeah. Um. Yeah. My only question is a leather jacket that doesn't give you a, a armor bonus, does it? Oh, it does. It, it gives, gives you. you it gives you plus one. Plus one defense bonus. And plus one for uh, you know, those two do. I would say do pair up a bit. Um, yeah, I would think so. you've got leather jacket and bulletproof jacket. But you also have bulletproof vest, so I would think leather jacket and bulletproof vest would work together. But no other pair of those would, I think. It's up to you. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't go easy. You know, I I don't feel real comfortable about stacking uh, armor bonuses. You know, uh, but okay, I'll, I'll we just can get do, we can do that. I mean, we can justify like a just a leather jacket and a bulletproof vest under it. Sure. Yeah, that works. Or you could just spend the 75 and get a bulletproof jacket for the same bonus. It's just more money. It's just more money, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and depending, again, uh, cost of items, you know, uh, for your beginning equipment, just kind of list some basic stuff. Don't worry so much about the money associated with it. Because you guys are, would be, even at level one, would be you know, relatively established uh, characters, you know. Yeah, you're not just complete enough. noobs. I remember we level zero. Played this <laughs> like right after or right before we played Into the Odd, one of the two, and I was commenting to Matt on the difference uh, between how they handle like uh, like chintzy little random adventuring gear like rope and and a sleeping bag and a crowbar in Vieja Escuela Pulp. These things are in the equipment list and have prices, and you've got to buy them or you don't have them. Whereas in Into the Odd. It's like, yeah, it's just assumed you have common sense gear. That's kind of my take on this as well. Yeah. yeah. Just common sense gear. Because um, Cindy's been asking me behind the scenes about some equipment. I'm like, yeah, we can justify that with some backstory and things like that. So it's just super easy to do. Yeah. So even though the book has these things with prices and everything, you're saying it's it, you'll be a little flexible if it's something that it seems like we just would have. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Great, great. Yeah, well, I am going to get yeah. a flashlight. But like a bazooka, you know, anything like ridiculous is like, no. Because you're walking around the streets of Miami, think about how it would look, you know. <laughs> I remember last time I, for Apollo Johnson, I bought a box of dynamite. <laughs> we were just throwing dynamite sticks. Yeah, that kept trying, like, no, it would be in, like, a canvas satchel. You're like, no, it's a box. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> People just carrying it. Like, wide-eyed going, uh, backing across the street and stuff. <laughs> well, I, did, I think, honestly, I'd feel more, I'd feel safer carrying dynamite around in a box than in a satchel. You can get jostled less, you know? It is true. It is true. Um. Oh, sweet. There we go. We've got the... Uh, Patty has given me her sheet. Let me copy that. Try and put all your... Put, like, screenshots of your sheets all on one JPEG so they're all on one page together. Oh, cool. Yes. Oh, yeah, we got Patty. Hey, guys. Um, hey, what's your character's name, uh, Alan? Do you have a name? No, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to... Uh, do we have Cindy, Cindy's character yet? Uh, not yet, no. Okay, I'm going to run to the other room and just get the two name tags that we do have ready. And then I'll be back. You can... Uh, 
You can speak to the camera there, Alan, if you wish. Yeah. I'm going to mute in case I, you know, uh, yeah, actually, I'm just trying to figure out why. I'll be be back again. I'm still working on this, uh, this monkey business behind the scenes. So (laughs) yeah, like I feel like the 10,000th monkey in the line who's actually putting something together. (laughs) Uh, Oh, shit. Yeah, and the thing to embrace with this game is just think like over the top action. Just you know, I do this. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Because there is the I don't know if you have it. There is a Cthulhu Cthulhu pulp book. Yeah, yeah. I am gonna get that in the future. I do want to play that. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a good one. <laughs> uh, I just I'm just waiting till I get till I get uh, a stable job again so I can pay for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I have the PDF. Right, well, I want to get the book. Yeah. Um, as, again, going back, as someone who just has collected RPGs over the years that I've never actually played, <laughs> Call of Cthulhu is like one of those games. Um, I'm so happy to get the opportunity to actually play for real this time versus like the old third edition D20 roll set that we used so no yeah i fall in love with call of Duty. okay all right i finally picked my equipment now i got now i gotta do my traits okay i think Uh, 
Um, Stacks 10 plus your dex plus dex and defense. Dex plus 1. 1, 3. So 13. Bonus added tools to resist a lot damage. For the advancement and bonus. Okay, I think I think I'm ready. It's gonna be some real by the seat of the pants with this one because I just didn't have enough time to really flesh it out. Um, uh, no worries. No worries. I was so hung up on Tales from the Loop and like getting all that stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I'll run Pulp on Wednesday. <laughs> what am I doing to myself? I'm all set though. I'm all set. Except that I need to I need to step away and take a shower. I have severe bedhead today, <laughs> so... <laughs> well, I'm unhappy I actually slept on. last night. What's that, Alan? I'm sorry? I said I'm happy I actually slept last night. Yeah, me too. I'm glad to hear that. That's cool. Yeah, <sighs> yeah so this is like last night with the... Uh, with the Max. I was really... In- I was engaged with the story, but I was just so tired. You know, it looked like I fell asleep a few times. I'd like wink one eye closed. But, you know, I don't know if that if no. that helps. You know, I feel like if I blink one eye closed, then my brain is working half as hard to decipher visual information. <laughs> so. No, I could tell you were you were hanging on. We we really appreciate it. Yeah, there were well, thank you. There were a few moments where I was just like, okay, uh, uh, I haven't moved for like. 30 seconds, <laughs> so I better shift to my chair. I don't think I did pass out. I, I was I was hurting towards the end, too, because I, I had I had a similar problem where I woke up like around like 3 in the morning on Monday night. Yeah. And then, so yesterday, I, towards the end of the day, I was, I was tired. Thankfully, I'm not tired today, so I should do a good job running Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, well, you being there with Steve the majority of the time, you're you're in the marathon. I just kind of jump in and sprint a little bit here and there. Yeah. Okay. Um, gosh. Yeah, Call of Cthulhu. Once we finish with Pulp late, after we finish Pulp, I'm going to sit down and I have to look that over um, a little deeper. You know, I was reading over how to do skill checks and stuff like that, but I want to look over my character sheet and you know get all the quote unquote nuanced elements of the character. And she's a dilettante from I get what did, what did that say? England or something? <laughs> Pick that again real mm-hmm. fast. Yeah, I'm like, I'm going to have to get a different PDF reader. This Adobe reader just loves to freeze up on stuff. It's just really annoying. Now, let's see. Birthplace, England. That's me for a clue later. I'll try and pull an English accent, but it, it may fail horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alan, I'm going to mute. i got to step away, like I said, take care of some personal hygiene here. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, go ahead. Uh, be back once I get done. Uh, basically just washing my hair. I'll be back. <laughs>
Samastania. Okay. Yeah, we're all good today. Mm. Do, 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 do. Let me tell. Let me tell uh, Steve what my thing is.